well I'm uh, two days or nine days depending on uh, upload dates of uh, some videos being uploaded about uh, some sound card or, or review and legal BS that should never have been and I guess it's sorted out but you know and then YouTube suggests another video to me about some uh, creative sound labs desktop uh, DAC and and I'll go so far as to call it just a DAC with uh, you know IO register or whatever and it has me thinking about something that was around the cooler chat eh, at least 20 years ago <laughs> It's really cool how that ship is there, just kind of hovering. Uh, and we got the major order of killing a billion bugs. So that's pretty cool. Oh, I have to spend some metals, too. Uh, must I? At least it's nice that we got the order. So I guess I go up here and say, okay, I'm maxed out on metals. What do I get? That I really just not kind of... I think I got most of this stuff. That's 75 metals. All right. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything here that's more than that. We'll go with that, I guess. Um, what else can I get? I, mean, I think I got everything from here. Maybe. Oh, I didn't get that. We'll go with that. Capes are always cool. Oh, 129. Uh, I mean, I, I get that some people like the skins, but uh, this this just isn't me. I mean, it's cool, but it isn't me. Um, oh, I never got the dagger. Where that? Did I? And I'm not really, you know, again, I want the run more than that. So, alright, I, I think I can run around and get medals now. <sighs> Should I get stuff at the store? You know, stratagems, let's, let's, let's get this down a little bit. Coralist Waifle. I mean, people like that. Um, spear, people like that. Uh, the Commando, yeah. Um, the, the way it works right now is really good. But I get the feeling that by the time I get around to trying this out, it'll be nerfed, just like the SG-8S. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure I had at least one day that the SG-8S opened shipping crates. Um, mine's have just never really been my thing. Okay, there's the guard dog. Is this, like, messing up and... Oh, that's the ballistic shield. Yeah. I mean, you need a one-handed primary for that, and I think there's one that's just right there on the edge of serviceable, but it's not great. But it's points, I guess. All right, good enough. So I, I, I'm thinking just a, a trivial walk around open crates and, and... Is this that other? Yeah, I want to do that other planet too. And we got a message. Yay! I wanted to talk about sound cards. <laughs> This is another, I'll read it again when I'm proofing the video. 
is I copy it to the other computer and then I'll watch the video and then I upload it to YouTube and then I'll watch the video again to make sure YouTube didn't mess up the compression or something. We're going over there. 12 hours of each other. Oh, we have a bunch of planets we're supposed to get. Um, fire planet. Snow planet. Yeah, we want that one. I mean, something that I was kind of thinking about, if it's still there, is this this planet, I think it is, that has the, the meteor showers, was great for seeing off into the distance, and there's a screen cap that I got, but I didn't have OBS at the time, of this long string of bugs making their way from a base on the far side of the planet over to where the extraction point was. And some people were telling me, yeah, maybe it's just a bug breach or whatnot. Because I didn't get a screen cap at a particular time that, that really showed the whole line. Uh, but our mission's over on the other side. So, that's a fun planet for running around. That's a fun Every planet for running around. Us one step closer to the full democratization of the known universe. Uh, and I'm hemming and hawing and not doing much. I guess this time I'm not that worried about it because we have time stamps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to trivial. And I never said it during the, um, the mob testing videos. Doing this, because there's two objectives, there isn't a single point where I can say, this is before objective, this is after objective spawn rates. And it's the same for the three flag ones. Um... That and I also remember this map isn't that great for just running around and getting things. Oh, this planet's gonna do that to me, huh? The bots plunder this planet of every last resource. Go. I'm gonna say so. Oh. Our land. And it's in the center of the map, so we get to actually see how bad things get. Um yeah. Sold. Look at what I have for weapons. If it's the Eruptor, I guess it'll be okay. <sighs> FDL jump successful. Hellpods prime. Mission coordinates locked. Is that like almost nine minutes of just trying to get down on the ground? So I think what I'm gonna do. I'm going to drop in there. I'm going to wander over here and just run around and do that and get out. Um, it's an oil pump, so I don't need to worry about setting the thing off. I have to pay attention because this is order changes. Last five. Um, machine gun, run, what I got for equipment, yep, alright. So, eons ago, I, I noticed a trend where, like, you had the, the NE2000 network cards that was basically a DAC, an ADC, and an IO register, and everything else happened in software on the main CPU. Everything else.
people are fogged in. All right. What do there? Uh, I think over on this side. That's where I want to supply. Okay, we'll run around, look for samples. So, yeah, after, you know, the any 2000 thing, you had the, the Win 56K modem that, again, was just a DAC ADC with an I.O. register and everything happened on the main CPU in software. And I have strong sneaking suspicions that the Audigy ZS wasn't much better because the, the thing would take four plus seconds to open up the, the volume control panel on an Optron CPU that should have had more than enough horsepower to do any kind of audio signal processing. You know, started thinking about you know, what, what does it take to actually have a DSP do your equalization and your filtering and, and stuff like that, and MIDI table even? You know, why, why limit yourself to a MIDI table when today, or at the time, you could easily cram a, a Kurzweil K2500 into a CPU? Um, so it was like... You know, what, what would it take to do that? And I'm not seeing anything here. Southwest, 100 meters. And the map isn't doing the thing, is it? Tagging map, Southwest, 100 yeah. meters. All right. I see blinky light off to the right there. So at the time, it was a bit of a craze. Look at that, nine. <laughs> oh, you know what I forgot to do? Pressing three and it's not switching to the machine gun. <laughs> sample, sample. Take the super credits. Arc thrower. I should do a video on that, I guess, maybe. Uh, so, anyway, um. Yeah, I want to say it was like between 1998 and 2K3 that a lot of the craze was going on with dumbing down hardware and, and replacing it with software running on the main CPU. Everything here, right? Yep. And in parallel, it was a, a lot of work happening with Doppler radars. So you had... DSPs in them things that would filter out terrain shapes and other stuff. Tagging map, northeast, 100 meters. I started thinking, you know, how difficult would it be to, to take one of those DSPs that's 
clearly overkill for... Question mark went away. I ran right past whatever it was. Buddy Bunker. So you have a DSP that can handle you know, 400 megahertz or 900 megahertz or whatever RF frequencies, and with some of the, the phased array setups, you got four antennas, so that's four outputs and, and four Copy inputs and 100 meters. running simultaneously. So cooler talk, you know, what, what, what would be a good common denominator to, to not be putting up with a lot of the, the inter-frequency Nice. Something over there. I don't know where Dropping they're a pin. North. Fifty meters. So if you run your sample frequency at twenty eight point two two four megahertz. There's something here which is well within the capability of a DSP that's that's usually working at 200 or 400 or 900 megahertz. <laughs> Those are the nice round simple divisions of samples. I hear ya. Uh, you're down here. I'm just being horrible at aim right now. Yeah, we got a drop ship. So you take 28.224 megahertz, you divide it by 640, that gives you 41 kilohertz sample rate. You take 28.224, you divide it by 588, you get 48 kilohertz, and, and so on and so on, up to 176 or 192. Um, you divide that by 32, that gives you 882 kilohertz sample rate, which is slight extreme overkill for audio. <laughs> But on the toss side of that, that, that puts your DAC uh, sample frequency way outside of the audio spectrum. So you can put in a one of those filters on the thing that filters out its operating frequency without the awkward THD um, harmonics of the, of the filter getting into the audio band. Found something. You know, and again, you know, some of these DSPs have already got filters in them for, for all kinds of really cool stuff, so... There's something here. Your, your, your terrain masking filters versus uh, parametric EQ or graphics EQ. I mean, it shouldn't be that difficult. Found something.
you know, again, just cooler talk. You know, I, I, at the end of the day, I get why software running on your main CPU that's already consumed by anti-cheat software clogging things up so the game doesn't do consistent FPS <laughs> is cheaper than getting an actual CPU. Tanking map, south, 100 meters. on a card or an external USB box that you have to write software for that probably doesn't even run the same instruction set Something as here. the main CPU so I mean I guess you have different teams or different um, yeah, there is something there Say say it's like the the what was that the 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 TM thirty two was it that window at TMS three twenty uh, I think uh, analog devices as a tiger shark you know I looked briefly at at some of the DSPs that exist and they all dropping a pin west. 50 meters. Black ports that can be allocated to, like, uh, a slave um, PCI Express or slave USB port. They're, they're made to be complete standalone CPUs and, like, a, you know, a MP3 player or something. There's something here. Or in the case of the 320, it's a standalone CPU for anything from like a coffee pot timer, microwave uh, control thing. I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> and I think I saw a red light off in the distance over there. You know what? I haven't... Just lost my train of thought of where I was on that. Oh, it's 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 doing the main objective for me. Somebody running over this way. Hello. Hey. because that thing was getting close. <sighs> oh, the, the various different DSPs that exist already. Yeah, I kind of looked at them briefly. Many years ago. Sub-objective near your location. Uh, today we should have way better stuff that can handle a, a 28 megahertz sample rate. And for crying out loud! It's like twice I've had the wrong gun. from being too close to the main objective's hotspot. Well, I guess I go straight. And we do that. And we do that.
Would have been cool to have one of those sound cards. So this is going to be tedious. Somebody's behind me, aren't they? No, they're all right there. Pelican one approaching pickup. Pelican one preparing for touchdown. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at like this 20 or 40 uh, dollar DAC that Creative is trying to sell for 300 bucks because it has balanced headphone outputs on it, and I'm just not impressed. <laughs> and thinking about, you know, if, if, if I could get like a really good DSP with like a a field programmable gate array of like FFTs and stuff in it to to actually do all of the stuff that you would see in your control panel in hardware on the card or external box that would be so awesome especially if you could like cram a, a, a Kurzweil synth in there as the MIDI table <laughs> And, and have like some kind of um, VST plug-in for a DAW so that it, it's like in there as like a, a synthesizer you can actually use that's that's actually hardware accelerated. And anyway, such is all we got today is software defined radios and software defined devices that are just DAX ADCs with an IO register. Be cool, y'all. <laughs>